I know people aren't going to know what hidden curriculum is. So could you, what are you saying? What are you talking about when you say hidden curriculum? Sure. So just briefly, hidden curriculum is either you're in a, enrolled in a course, college course, you have your syllabus and there's a curriculum that for the most part, professors have to follow course record. What are your outcomes, learning objectives and all that? Those are known, right? Yeah. So the hidden curriculum are those norms, behaviors, and sets of expectations that mm. college students should have. Mm. So things that you sort of know. Then I'll give you an example. And this is the, the example that I knew my my hidden curriculum. I have multiple, but my favorite yeah. one was I was a transfer student. So first off. For a transfer student, I didn't realize that it meant that I went to community college for minimum two years, and then I transferred to the four-year school as a junior and then completed my senior year. I thought transfer students had to go to community college for two years, catch up to college level, and then start at the four-year as a freshman. So Mm. number one, right? I didn't know that. The second part of a hidden curriculum, the second example that I have is uh, in the process of applying to transfer. I applied to three schools, UC Davis, UCLA, and UC Berkeley. UC Davis was my first choice because, again, I wanted to get as far away as I could from the South Bay, but still within driving distance is how I explained it to my mom. And Berkeley was one of those things where it's like, well, let's just give it a try and see what happens kind of moment. And I got in, I got into all three schools, but because those norms and expectations and, you know, those rules about being college student in that process, I was not familiar with, I didn't know I had to submit a housing application along with my admissions application. So it's May when I found out that I got in, June, I struggled with a decision still. And I think it was more so because I originally wasn't going to apply to UCLA, but I was just told, hey, why not? And I said, okay, sure. And I got in and then it just became real that, oh, I, I could stay home. I could stay home and I could commute and I could do that. But inside of me, I just knew I had to get away. So mm-hmm. it was Davis or Berkeley. But I didn't submit a housing application. And so I had no choice but to just pack up my little Honda Civic. And I packed up uh, a hamper's worth of clothes, a few blankets, some San Marcos, if you know what that is, a very thick mm-hmm. a blanket, warm blanket. And I drove myself to Berkeley and I slept in my car for a couple of days because I went on a mission to secure housing. Mm-hmm. I said, I'm coming to Berkeley and that's it. I'm on a mission. I'm going to do this. And I finally was able to secure housing. And at the time, there weren't as plentiful uh, housing opportunities as there are now in Berkeley. Yeah. So that, you know, it was a challenge, but I did it. And so that's, you know, my hidden curriculum experience mm. that like, well, I didn't know other like didn't know kind of moments are students don't realize mm. that in college you can drop a class and you can receive a W draw, right? And so what they won't do is they won't drop the course and instead stick it out and do the hard work because that's what we're supposed to do and then get an, which is worse than getting the W. Mm -hmm. So that's like another example of that hidden curriculum. Those moments, norms, behaviors that are just sort of part of that college going uh, culture and uh, trajectory, I guess. 